Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. You can see this box is already partially opened and the reason is it says going gear on the outside. So I, I thought I knew what it was, then I started to look in and I was like, do I? I, I don't know. Um, so <laughs> I'm confused. Maybe the thumbnail gives more indication, right? But we're gonna get into this box and find out what it is together. Thanks so much to Going Gear for sending this in. You can find links for Going Gear right down below, as well as uh, you know the stuff that's in here. Obviously, is going to be at Going Gear. So if you're interested in any of it, you can check it out. It does help my channel when you use my links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to my generous patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal Underscore Complex. Okay, so um, we have a Kaiser. We have something from. Rive, Rive knives, the Rogue Mini, okay. Then we have, oh, this is, it is, it's the, is this the Going Gear EDC? What is this? Muzin, Muzin, okay. Um, okay, and then there's this. That's kind of neat, the little uh, flathead and um, uh, Phillips screwdrivers for your keys. That's kind of cool, okay, so we do, okay. I was confused because they usually do like the full, you know, Going Gear EDC Club box. So this is the this is the EDC Club. Now what you're seeing here is the premium one. I'll let you guys, if you want to, you can pause and read about each of these uh, items individually. Uh, there are two boxes. The one they the one they sent me is the premium one. That one's going to be more expensive. They do a budget version of this box. Everybody gets the same box month in and month out. Sometimes people get confused. They think, oh, Metal Complex is an influencer. So they send him a box with a whole bunch of great stuff. And then everybody, no, if, you're, if you get this box for August, everybody gets the same August box or September, October, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So anybody who's already subscribed to this is getting the same stuff as me this month. Uh, but I'm excited to get in here and take a look and see what it is. I, I need to read here for a second. Musen Wild Mini, a rugged wireless speaker that is ready for your outdoor adventures, ready to perform no matter the occasion, adventure, or weather condition. The Musen Wild Mini Bluetooth speaker has remarkably bold sound for its size. I don't know why I'm yelling. It is IPX5 waterproof, fits in the palm of your hand for maximum portability, and has a backup flashlight just in case. I'm keeping that. Sorry. Usually... <laughs> Usually I give this stuff away. I'm keeping this. Hang on. This is I need one of these. My Bluetooth speaker out in my garage sucks. It's terrible. It's just it's like somebody took a bunch of yarn and just tied a bunch of potatoes together and they're like, here you go. Here's a, a freaking, you know, USB C just plug it into the wall. I hope it plays music, right? No way. Dude, that's not what I expected to get from this pet. I've been uh doing this. Is this what is this? Is this like a carry bag? Okay. Um, I've been doing the uh, the EDC club for quite a while now. Golly, this is intricate. <laughs> what the heck? That's so cool. Oh, man, that's awesome. I can't wait to try this. That's so cool, man. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Sorry. Sorry. I give most of the stuff away. Lot a lot went into the packaging here. Um, I give most of this stuff away, but every now and then I find something I want to keep. Can you blame me, huh? I open this is what I do all day, every day is just open knives and gear. I'm gonna want to keep some of it, so just give me a pass. <laughs> I love that. That is so cool. Is this the volume? Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> what the heck? I just was not expecting to. Uh, Oh, there's the charge port. Okay. Not expecting at all to get something like this in the EDC. I love that. It's so small too. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Next up we have the camping card tool, which is something that we've seen, you know, a million times over. Hang on. Let me find it. 
Uh, Tactica Gear M.020 Camping Multi-Tool. Uh, the tool card you'll never want to leave behind with many different functions. This compact and lightweight tool features a bottle opener, rope cutter, fire starter, can opener, flat screwdriver, pry bar ruler, tent, pug, uh, tent peg puller, rope tensioner, finger pulls, and sundial. All right. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, something that if this were me and I was absolutely going to keep it, which I'm, I'm, this is something I'm going to give away. Uh, when do you give stuff away? Live streams. When are your live streams? Subscribe with your notifications turned on. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. It's uh, it's pretty much exactly. I mean, it is exactly what I read there. Um, this is neat. I, personally, I, you know, again, these types of things are going to be more or less valuable to the individual person. There's no way to put together an EDC box where literally every single thing in the box is going to be maximum benefit for every single person in the entire world. That The expectations set there would be unbelievably ridiculous, right? Um, so for some people, that's going to be more or less interesting. Um, next up, we'll do the little keys here. I actually kind of like these. I might keep these too. Because <laughs> um, you know, like nothing... There's no, the worst thing is just needing something like this, right? Just the, uh, we got to clean these off a little bit unless they're supposed to be like that. I doubt it. Hang on. Good old break free CLP. Hey, hey, let's go. Let me just add a little bit here. Mm, get them all. All right. I don't know what this residue is. Maybe the residue is intentional, right? I mean, maybe it's some sort of, some sort of protective residue. Let's clean it off so it looks good on camera, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, there's no, there's nothing worse than needing something like a flathead or Phillips head and not having it, right? And a lot of people watching are going to go, I'll just use my knife. <laughs> you you got to use your stuff, man. You know, just use your, t you know, use your tools. It's a tool. Um, using a knife as a screwdriver is a stupid thing to do, right? If that bothers you, or it makes you frustrated, I got to be honest with you, I don't care. Uh, using your knife as a two, as a screwdriver or pry bar is a stupid thing to use your knife for. So having something like this, even if it is, you know, just on your keys, is massively uh, beneficial because then you are not breaking, bending, or doling the blade of your knife, which is a knife and is meant to cut, right? You're not removing the primary function of the tool just so you can get a screw to go in a thing for one second, right? <laughs> Very passionate about that. Okay, moving on here. Um, the, the Rogue Mini, the Rive, yeah. Rive Knives Rogue Mini, which they say is an $80 value. Colors will vary. The Rogue Mini is the ultimate pocket companion, bold claim. It has double caged ball bearings that offer perfectly balanced pivot system for a smooth one-handed operation. It comes with premium OS 8A. Eh. The word that I don't like here before uh, OS 8A is premium, right? Eh, let's find out. Eh, um, it really depends whether or not this is something that, like, this is a pretty, there's a lot of stuff out there that looks like this. Uh, 80... 80 bucks is what they said. No. $80 in OS 8. You know. Uh, not. Uh, no. I don't think so. Uh, oh, wow. 323 of 500. USA, though? Hold on a second. Um, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I need to know that it's actually manufactured in the United States. Is it? Is it manufactured here or is it pieced together here? That's a big deal. Everybody needs to be, I'm not, I'm not anti knives that are made anywhere else. Let me be very clear about this. It is okay, in my opinion, wherever the thing is made, as long as you tell us, right? But I need to know if it says made in the USA, right? If we're gonna say USA, we need to know. Does that mean assembled? Does that mean the pieces all come from somewhere else and it is assembled here? 
Or does it mean that the pieces are manufactured here and then it is assembled because there is a huge difference. If you've ever wondered if you're new to the knife world, how come some USA knives cost $400 or $500 and some USA knives cost $50 to $100? There's your answer right there. Not making any claims. I have no idea about this company, but that's the kind of stuff I want to know, right? And moving on to the thing that is most likely the most interesting thing in here. Ah, yes, of course. This is actually one that we've looked at on the channel before. So why are you showing it? Because I don't have any control over what's in these boxes. This is arguably one of Kaiser's best... <laughs> Witness my might. <laughs> <laughs> one of Kaiser's best uh, new knives right now, the Kaiser Assassin, which is a button lock and it does, it works really well. This is um, probably this and the uh, the original are my two favorite button locks from Kaiser. So this is nice. And this is a knife that is definitely worth exactly what it's listed for here, which is $69, giggity. Um, but yeah, we have 154CM, tumbled. We have Micarta, nice button lock. Now these are made in China, but Kaiser is... Very straightforward about that. And the quality is above and beyond. I mean, as far as like what you're getting for the money here, uh, there's no question. The, the the quality coming out of Kaiser Knives is simply excellent. This was a decent box. Um, not sure about this. And even if it is made in the USA, I mean, I've seen a lot of sharpened rectangles, right? So, eh. Uh, gonna keep that. I like this and I'm going to immediately attach it to my keys. Uh, it's already, there's already so much. I mean, it's like I've already got so much on my, I just don't care. Right. Um, this it's neat. Some people will find a lot more use, uh, than I will, but you know, if that's your thing and this is freaking excellent. Like these two things here, uh, are just amazing. I, I'm, I'm really happy with this. The nice thing about watching me do this, right? You might be wondering like, you know, I, this, this box thing, you know, maybe you're looking at it and you think the box is definitely for me. I like the idea of receiving random things, you know, uh, month in and month out, whether you want to go with the premium, more expensive box or the box that's less expensive. And that's fine. Make your own decision. I'm not here to sell this to you. I don't work for going gear, right? I didn't put this box together. It's whatever. Make your decision. The nice thing about watching me do it is if there's an individual item in here that you are interested in, you can go to going gear and get that, right? And some of this stuff is probably exclusive to going gear, or if it's offered somewhere else, you might not be familiar with the retailer. So, that's the nice thing. You can do whatever you want. It makes no difference to me. I just enjoy getting this stuff out and showing it to you guys and introducing you to things that you might not know exist, right? Uh, this I've already reviewed and it is a super recommendable knife. I'll make sure that that's listed right down below. And this is really cool. I'll make sure and list that individually as well. I'll link the boxes, both premium and budget or the, the less, I don't want to say less premium. It's just premium and non-premium. Right, so you guys can check it out. Pretty good box this month from uh, from Going Gear. Uh, reasonably happy with this one. I cannot wait to get that speaker out to the garage and try it because um, that's where it's going to reside. I don't know where my card went. There it is. Um, that's going to be pretty much it uh, for today, guys. Thanks again to Going Gear. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.